just wake up and I start making paintings. When I'm working on these, I, I mean, I, f I forget how old I am. I could be six. It's just so much fun just to make them. And, and, I, and I don't have any critics when I'm in my studio working. I just make them. I do what I want to do. There's a little bit of an outsider aspect of being, to being an artist. I mean, if you, it's almost like you can't avoid it. To me, it just means me being me. It's just what I do. I don't know, I don't know how to, re I don't know how to, I don't know. If I don't like them, I will take up the claw end of a hammer to them. I just don't, I don't leave them if they're, if, they're, if they're not doing what I want them to do. I don't just say, boom, that one's done. I will put it on the wall, leave, and then come back maybe the next afternoon, the next morning, and um, look at it and then decide. And then I put the information on the back, name, title, size, and all that. And once I do that, I'm pretty much sure it's finished. I remember showing my kindergarten teacher a drawing that I did, sort of just an abstract scribble, and when she prompted me and asked me what it was, I made up some BS story about it being a cow on the hill looking at its girlfriend, and she just gave me giant pats on the back, so I think I, at least, maybe that's when I first became a BS artist. We'd get together on Saturday with some of our friends and we'd get a pack of typing paper and a few big pens and a mad magazine and just copy everything in the mad magazines. I've had every rotten job you can imagine. I've driven cabs, I've moved furniture, I've cleaned toilets, I've cleaned hospitals, I've, I mean, I've done roofing, I've done house framing, I've, it's, this is a recent development, this, um, this, this um, sort of privilege to wake up and be able to either teach art or make art. Well, you have to wonder if you're, if, you're, if you're making your own paintings or if you're making someone else's paintings, if you've been too influenced by someone else, or I'm just trying to stay, trying to stay original. That's difficult. Um, I, I definitely like the color. If, it, if the color isn't right, these things don't work. And that's, that applies to every single one of these paintings. Um, I would say, and I can't remember who said this, but someone said from the artist standpoint, the, the most difficult part of a painting is the last 10%. And I think the last 10% to me is just making sure that the color works. The initial reason why I made them upside down was simply to remind the person that they're looking at marks on a page and not actually a portrait. It just gives it another, another odd twist. Everyone know, most people know uh, Magritte's pipe. This is not a pipe, it's a painting of a pipe, blah, blah, blah. So that's sort of my way of reminding people that, this, that these really aren't faces. They're just elements of faces painted to sort of imply a face. They say a lot about contemporary art and the history of art um, to me. Um, if, it weren't, if it weren't for a lot of artists who came before me, I'm not quite sure these paintings would look exactly the way they look. I like, I like poking into art history. So they say uh, quite a bit about art history to me. But I would like to have people just sort of stop for a second or two and then just walk away, maybe more in a metaphorical way, just scratching their chin and wondering, just sort of plant a little thought in their head. Nothing specific, just sort of poke in the gray matter and get things going again. <laughs>